Hello everyone. Today we will be looking at a tool called IBM Web Methods MFT, which is Manage File Transfer. Um, this is part of the Web Methods iPaaS. Uh, that uh, that means it is available as a hybrid platform and also as a, a platform as a service uh, that is uh, on the cloud, so you don't have to do much uh, configurations. Um, and uh, it offers a unified, the iPaaS platform itself offers a unified interface to integrating applications, partners, um, B2B transactions, uh, as well as files. Now, uh, the, the file trans MFT itself is necessary because most businesses uh, today are going to be sending uh, documents. And uh, we need to make sure that these documents are sent securely and you are able to um, make sure that they are um, able to uh, do post-processing and make sure that the right documents are being sent. Uh, there is no corrupted documents being sent and so on. So uh, it is this tool offers a, a platform that manages um, sending of documents between organizations. Now let's look at the tool. Now let's look at how the tool itself is configured. Um, the first thing that we want to see is what are all the listeners that the tool has created. Um, now the listeners will show up um, uh, as what are all the uh, MFT listeners that uh, has come. So in this case, uh, we have uh, FTPS, HTTPS, and SFTP. Now, uh, the whole idea of um, MFT is that uh, we'll be able to have different people send documents into different locations so that they are uh, separated out and uh, it is secure for them. Uh, so this is created by virtual folders. We are saying it's virtual because each of them could be in a different S3 bucket wherever they are. Uh, it is just uniformly presented here as though it is a folder structure. Um, so in this case, we will use uh, the L3 uh, enablement folder. Uh, as you can see, it is in Amazon S3. It can be in any of, any of your um, storage locations. Now, once you receive this document, um, you will need to make sure that you are able to process this document. Uh, there are a bunch of um, post-processing actions that we have taken. Um, in this case, we will look at two post-processing uh, actions. One is the upload post-processing, uh, where uh, it's a very simple set of post-processing that we are doing. Um, here, um, we are first thing is we are doing a decrypting of the file. Uh, so we have uh, signatures and we'll see uh, certificates in a second. So we know how to um, uh, decrypt the file. But once it is decrypted, uh, we have done a web methods integration, which is part of the overall web methods platform set of tools uh, to enrich the file to create a timestamp so that every record in the file has a proper timestamp uh, when it was received. So it, is, uh, uh, it cannot be questioned that they actually received it and at what time. Uh, and then uh, there is a notification step where they are sent, we are going to send an email uh, itself. Now, this web methods integration, we can go and look at uh, the integration tab uh, from the set of tools. Uh, as I said, this is part of all an integrated platform. So we can look at the web methods integration um, and uh, it will show us um, the integration that we are doing for this MFT. Um, so if you look at the MFT uh, and go to the flow services, uh, this is the enriched CSV file content that we have created. Um, and it's a very simple uh, set of tools that is drag and drop, low code, no code. Uh, and it all says a uh, list of things that uh, we're going to convert uh, this to a document and then uh, add a set of uh, data string um, uh, to the document with a timestamp. So uh, that's uh, what the integration does. And let's go back uh, to the MFT uh, screen itself. Um, we'll go back to uh, MFT and look at a couple of other things that um, the tool allows us to do. Here, uh, we can also uh, look at the certificates. Um, these are all the certificates that have been added. Um, and also users here, we can manage 
which users can actually uh, use the system and send documents. Um, so we have partner users and internal users that we can manage from one place. Um, we will send some documents and actually come back and look at the um, transaction log and action logs. Um, these are things that um, we would want to see once the document is sent. Now let's go and send a document to this uh, particular partner. Let's log into uh, uh, MFT web client, which is a very easy web client to go in. And uh, let's try to send a document. We'll send two kinds of documents today and see what happens, right? We will send a document that is properly encrypted and um, we will send a document that is not encrypted. Um, so let's upload a, a document here. Um, now let's upload a document um, that is encrypted. Uh, and that's why I have, I have it uh, as signed. Um, and uh, let's see what the result of the uh, upload is. So I'm going to start uh, the upload. Okay, so it has completed the upload and let's go look at uh, the status in the uh, web client. So uh, as you can see, um, I sent in a document which had just signed. Uh, the upload has happened and um, it has also decrypted this file. Um, just like uh, we had an action to um, decrypt and um, also add timestamp, um, this, this when we download it, um, will remove this file because the action that we have created uh, in the MFT um, configuration for downloads is to delete this file. So let's um, select this and download it and we will see that the document uh, is um, deleted from here. So now that we have downloaded it, let's refresh the screen. And you see, you can see that the document is gone. Let's now upload a bad document. So here, this document is not signed. So if I upload this particular document, um, and um, let's see what happens when we upload a document that is not properly encrypted. Um, now, it has completed it, and you can see that it comes in as a failed subscriber, karthikeyansitaraman.csv. That means it has failed to process this document and accept this document. Um, so as you can see, uh, we can do and use these capabilities uh, to make sure that uh, we are confirming to loss like GDPR, like uh, HIPAA, like uh, Sarbanes-Oxley and so on, which requires that documents needs to be encrypted and uh, safely sent from partner to partner. Uh, as you can see, this is a very simple uh, tool where we can uh, transact documents and I'm going to delete this so that I clean it up. Um, and um, this is a, a very simple tool that is uh, on the uh, uh, that is uh, available as a service. So it's very simple configurations we can get started. We'd love to come in and do a POC or a pilot uh, with your uh, with you and your partners to show how easy it is uh, to implement uh, the MFT tool in your organization. Um, also, this tool uh, is very easily priced, so you can uh, you can have various price options, including an option to uh, price it based on transactions. Uh, so I'll I'll like to see how this can help your organization uh, simplify and also make sure that all your documents that you are uh, sending between partners uh, is compliant to uh, various laws like GDPR. Thank you.